Medical advances have come a long way since the first artificial heart. These days, those needing a heart transplant have several options depending on their physical condition. In this month's Prescription Arkansas Report, Dawn Scott tells us how one of the devices that used to keep transplant patients alive until transplant surgery has now been approved for more permanent use. When Calvin Jones and his wife Fifi made the trip from Warren to Little Rock to meet Dr. John Ransom, Calvin was pretty sick. He was in serious enough condition that Dr. Ransom said some type of action had to be taken immediately. Mr. Jones was pretty much bedridden. He was uh, on continuous IV medication to support his blood pressure and his heart function. Uh, had no quality of life and his life expectancy could be measured within a matter of days or weeks without either a transplant or uh, some sort of assist device. Since finding a donor heart within weeks is rare, Dr. Ransom suggested a ventricular assist device called a HeartMate 2. I was scared to death of what they was telling me about a heart pump. Heart pump? What I need a heart pump for? It? The VAD pump helps restore the circulation of blood flow to the body. It does not replace your own heart. Its purpose is to help keep patients alive and out of the hospital while they wait for a donor heart. Calvin spoke with other people who had them and in October he got his own. Before the procedure, before the HeartMate 2, I couldn't walk from here to that wall. Calvin says every time he came for a checkup, they would ask him if he was ready to get on the list for transplant, and he would always promise them an answer the next visit. Well, now, Calvin has another option. In January, the FDA approved the HeartMate 2 as destination therapy, meaning it is now Calvin's choice if he wants to have a transplant or live the rest of his life with the HeartMate. And it didn't take him long to make up his mind. I'm keeping this. <laughs> yes. Dr. Ransom says this also also gives new hope to some who don't qualify for a transplant. Don Scott, today's THV.